Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. Cho's Chinese class. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the strategies to further improve your AP Chinese exam performance. Let's take a look. So the main topic of today's video is using Chinese 成语 in your culture presentation. And uh, first of all, we're going to be talking about what is 成语. 成语是什么? Uh, 成语 mostly consists of four characters, and many of them have a moral in them, or they are biased, meaning they have an opinion. They are either used to describe something good or something that is bad. So that is something you should be careful when you're using 成语. Uh, many 成语 are direct references from Asian literatures, like poems, prose, essays, etc. And other 成语 are like acronyms of stories, like Chinese fable stories, historical stories, or myth mythological stories. We are going to take a look at some specific 成语 and how to use them in Chinese cultural presentation. So the first 成语 I'm going to be talking about is uh, 万里无云. 万里无云. 万里无云 literally means 10,000 miles with no cloud, and that is used as an adjective to describe good, clear weather. One specific use case for this 成语 is uh, uh, you can use that in your personal story elaboration. Uh, you can set a happy, positive tone in your story. Here are some uh, examples. 记得有一次我和somebody一起去 do something. 那天的天气很好,万里无云. You can use that to start your story. Second example is, uh, 上次我做something的时候是在万里无云的一天. So you can also use that to start your story, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. What if you want to set up the tune of the story a little bit differently? Uh, so we have the second idiom for you guys to use, which is 倾盆大雨 倾盆大雨 literally means big rain, like pouring from a basin. And it can be used as a noun phrase to describe bad raining weather. Uh, because it is a noun phrase, so you need to use that together with a verb. So you need to put 下 in, in front of it. 下倾盆大雨. 下倾盆大雨. Uh, the use case is uh, very similar to 万里无云. Uh, however, it's kind of like uh, the opposite of it. It's going to set up a tune for your story, like uh, it's a challenging personal experience, and uh, there's going to be some setbacks. But the benefit of that is that you, your story can be how you overcome those challenges or setbacks. Okay, let me move out of the way. And our first example is 我们刚 do something, 外面就下起了倾盆大雨. So it can be in the story like uh, you and your friends were planting trees. And then after you finished planting the trees, it was raining and the... Uh, and uh, even though you guys got wet, you still feel like you were very happy. 我们刚种完树,外面就下起了倾盆大雨。虽然大家都淋湿了,但是我们还是觉得很开心,因为我们为保护环境出了一份力。Something like that. Uh, second example we have is, uh, 虽然那天下着倾盆大雨,但我们还是很开心,因为种树很有意义, for example. Um, so these are the two um, Chinese idioms, 成语, we can use to talk about weathers. Uh, so 成语 for weather is uh, very useful. You can just throw them in any story that fits your narration. Let's take a look at the, the third example. Third, 第三个成语, 大开眼界, 大开眼界. So 大开眼界 is an idiom that uh, you should be pretty familiar with already. Uh, literal meaning is... Uh, Greatly open one's vision, uh, have somebody's eyes wide open. So it is used as a verb phrase. 让我大开眼界, something 让我大开眼界. Uh, us usually it's kind of used in a passive voice. 让我大开眼界. Um, and it's used to describe someone was positively exposed to new things and exciting things. So usually whatever... 让你大开眼界, it's something positive and new, something exciting. Um, use case is to introduce your topic as something new, 
and interesting. So the topic is uh, something emerging and like you never know before. Now you knew it and uh, that made you 大开眼界. Let's take a look at the first example. 现在科技发展非常快, 每天都有新的东西让我们大开眼界. So you can use that to introduce your topic. Uh, if you're doing any cultural presentation that is uh, technology related, um, and then you can say, uh, follow up with something. 我觉得 something something uh, 是现在最新, 最有意思, Second example we have here. Is uh, 中国有很多有意思的习俗和文化 我在中文课上学了很多新东西 让我大开眼界 可是让我印象最深的是 And again, this is also uh, used in the introduction And you can use that to introduce your topic And you have a uh, idiom in the very beginning of your culture presentation I think that's going to be a very good impression uh, That you leave uh, for whoever that is reading your test 第四个成语,我们第四个成语是迫不及待 The literal meaning we have is uh, eager to try something and cannot wait It can be used as an adjective or adverb to describe someone cannot wait to try something new and appealing So again, this is a rather positive adjective, uh, positive 成语 The user case is to describe something that you have great interest in um, so it can also be used in a personal story when you're elaborating 看着锅里的饺子,大家都迫不及待想要吃一口 uh, So if you're talking about anything about food And then you can introduce a personal story, how you were cooking food And then in the end, everybody wanted to try The second example we have here is uh, AP 中文是我最喜欢的课 每天吃完午饭,我就迫不及待地想要去中文教室 和同学们用中文聊天,练习中文 So if your cultural presentation is talking about the significance of learning the language um, Then uh, you can definitely use your personal experience And use 迫不及待 in this case To talk about uh, how much you like to learn a new language Can be fictional, right? The fifth and the last idiom that I'm gonna introduce today Is uh, 各种各样 各种各样 it is also a pretty basic uh, idiom I think most people should know that So it means uh, having a great variety of something It is used, used as an adjective Which means you're going to put that in front of a noun 各种各样的 something um, You use that to describe there is a great variety of uh, appealing things So it's a positive adi uh, idiom And uh, uh, it's usually used to describe something, have a good variety of something that is good And for the use case, there is a great application in introduction or conclusion uh, Just uh, in a general introduction uh, For example, 中国有各种各样的美食有机会的话,我都想试一下可是现在我最想吃的是 something something And that can be your topic of the, of the cultural presentation if it's uh, not about food, if it's about the specific customs um,在中文课上,我学了各种各样的中国习俗和文化 If they ask you to talk about minority,在中文课上,我学了各种各样的中国少数民族的习俗和文化, etc. So it's pretty uh, useful, and uh, you can put that uh, into the conclusion as well If you haven't used that already in your intro introduction Okay, these are the five idioms that I'm going to be covering in today's video I do have some bonus uh, idioms 一心一意, which means doing something very focused It can be used as an adverb 他在一心一意地看书 uh, For example, 五颜六色 uh, That is an adjective to describe something that is colorful 马马虎虎, that should be something everybody knows 心花怒放 uh, that is used to describe someone uh, who's very happy So after you did something positive, you feel very happy, you feel achieved uh, You can use 心花怒放我觉得心花怒放 You can use that after 觉得 And last one, 半途而废 That is used as a verb phrase uh, used, Usually used in negation 你不能这样半途而废 So if you have a setup in your personal story And you can say something like that 
。虽然很难，但是我觉得不应该半途而废，所以我要坚持下去。Something like that. All right. So this is all I have for you guys today. I hope、uh, it's gonna be helpful for your AP exam.、Um, and、uh, here's the link for the Chinese cheat sheet again.、Uh, please use that. Get get familiar with that. Even if you're not allowed to use printed sheet、uh, during the exam, you can still use similar format、uh, on a blank piece of paper. I'm pretty sure they will allow you to use a scrap paper for、um, for writing some notes down. And、uh, most importantly, during that time, is to get your thoughts organized. And、uh, also, the other very important thing is that uh, expect uh, uh, mistakes and errors. Just practice and get comfortable with them. So when you are doing a cultural presentation, you only have two minutes. You really don't want to waste time on thinking about the mistakes. You want to quickly move on.、Uh, if you get stuck on something. And、uh, for like five seconds,、uh, you couldn't say something. Just move on to the next section that you have to cover. If you think this series of、uh, video has been helpful,、uh, please leave a comment below and let me know. I would really appreciate that.、Uh, if you wanna receive more information about AP Chinese exam or learning Chinese in general,、uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and、uh, leave comments.、Uh, Give me suggestions. What are the what are the topics that you want me to cover in the future? I will be happy to make more videos for you guys. All right, take care. Bye.